I curled my hair, so this is I'm I'm trying to like find ways to um to like do my hair to see like how I like it. Um I actually didn't curl my hair, my mom curled my hair because I'm trying to figure out ways to do it and my hair my hair my mom is really good at doing hair and like different hairstyles so I had her do it for me but um does this look off like this necklace with this I didn't want to just wear this shirt without anything like else going on so I added this and I feel like it's cute but I don't know okay so um today we are going to be doing a soft glam um you guys, I don't know what the heck I am doing to like make this um, look so, look so soft, but I am literally in love with this look. Like, I kind of think it's because like how everything like kind of ties together, it makes it look so soft. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today, and I just put the base down because it's just foundation and. You know, everyone puts their foundation on a different way. I personally put my foundation on with um, a foundation brush and then I pat it down with the beauty blender. So right now, I'm kind of just patting that all in. Like trying to blend it all together from what I did. And I did do my eyebrows off camera. Okay guys, so to start this off, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe Concealer in C125. When I do this, I smile. And that kind of tells me like where to put it. My new thing that I have been doing is I only do put concealer right here. And I just blend that into my skin. I know I look so crazy right now and so white but after that I just continue blending and I bring it in the other area that I would usually conceal. So right here on my chin, on my nose, on my head. I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I am in 15, and um, because it is kind of brighter, um, I go in with this shade, um, and I kind of darken that up because I know right here it is like supposed to be lighter, but um, I'm not too like in love with it being so, so much brighter. I do like it being um, bright, but um, I like when my face like ties in all together, but like this just is just like a little different color, but not too much, you know? And you guys, I always, always put my powder where like this area because I do tend to smile a lot. <laughs> so um, I do tend to crease right there even more. So... Um, I just set that right there so it doesn't crease as much. Every time I'm done with something, I try to put it back because I tend to leave things on the floor and it makes a big old mess and I don't clean it because I'm just like, I'm going to do my makeup and it's just going to go on the floor again. So what's the deal? No, I cannot do that because then my room literally stays a mess forever and it's just a disaster that I do not want to clean so every time I do a video I try to put something back so I don't have to do that later <laughs> I used to use two shades of contour I used to use um, F12 and F14 but I recently have just been using F12 I do think that is kind of um, one thing that has kind of changed my makeup game because it's more soft than it being like super rough and like I don't know how to explain it cakey I guess um I think there's a different word for that I don't think I'm using that word right 
um, I don't know the word, but you probably know the, what I'm talking about. So what I do is I just go like this on my cheek area on both sides. So I'm going to try to see how I could do this because I do need both hands for this. So <laughs> I'm trying to see how this is going to work. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm looking down, you guys, but I need both hands. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> that always happens. Okay. And it does always look a little crazy at first, but you just have to, you just have to trust the process and keep blending and blending and blending. So, um, instead of adding more contour or, yeah, so instead of adding more contour, um, to other places, I just use what is on my beauty blender and I just go over those spots because um, I do use a lot um, sometimes I go overboard so um, I learned that to not do that to just use what I already have on my beauty blender so that's what I do and that makes it a little more and it makes it a little more like softer and just like nicer and neater than it being like super crazy and a little too much. I do go on my eyes with it just so it kind of like all ties together because um, with with more when it looks when you want it to be like more softer I feel like everything needs to tie together so I feel like that's what makes it soft so that's what I do and um, I do um, get blotchy like blotch is that what it is blotches like blotch like blotches I think that's the word like um, where like some place is like it comes off like if you guys could see that like right here um i i think it's honestly i don't think it's the product i think it's just me and my skin because it literally only happens on this side and it always happens right here so i definitely don't think it's a product i just think it's me but um me putting on the bronzer it does help so i just go in right here on my head so now I go in back with my powder and I just clean that up. So as I let that sit, um, I am going to be going in with my blush. Um, and I did do this in my old, or not my old, in my last video. If you guys have watched that, um, I do use my blush for my um, eyeshadow. Um, this blush is so bomb you guys you don't even know like you need to get your hands on this you guys for real um i do go in with each of these colors but i do go super softly so what i start with first is that first color in sweet and then i go in with those um other two colors and i put it right here and then that's when I bring it out. So if you did watch my other video, I just use those colors to like go very softly. But with this look, I bring it out and it is a little more, um, the color is a little more like there than the other one. And then I go in with that lighter color and I just go very, very softly right here. And then this is where I do my blush. So um, I go in with that color sweet for the start, <laughs> just to start it all off. And just so it looks like a super soft and not too much. I put it on my nose I put it right here 
So after the blush, that's when I go in with my highlight. This is where it brings in all of the, the contour and the blush. I feel like that's what this step does, the highlight. And I lay it for it because it's so pretty. I love it. Like, look. Like, look. I love it. So my favorite step of all times is my lipstick. So I am going to be going in with the L'Oreal um, Lip Liner in Toffee. Toffee? Taffy? Taffy? Toffee? Toffee or Taffy? What do you guys say? Toffee? Taffy? <laughs> I don't know which one sounds right. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with this and I'm just going to be... Outlining my lip. And sometimes I make... Hey guys, so after I'm done with that one, this is, and this is a Kylie Jenner lip liner, you guys. And... Um, I don't know what shade this is because it's all gone practically. So I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. But all I know is that it's from Kylie. <laughs> um, so with that, I just add a little right here. And a little up here. And I just blend those two colors in. So now... <laughs> This is a lot of steps. Like, sometimes when people ask me my lip combo, I'm just like, I don't ever know what to say because it is so much. And, like, it's not just one lip liner. It's not just two. Sometimes it's three. Sometimes it's three and a lipstick or a gloss. And I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to be going in with another lip liner. And, again, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the name because... It's almost gone and all I could tell you is from NYX with this one I go and with it up I mean on the top and I do go in with this one a little more than that last one that I just used just because it is more nude I just do the same thing that I did with the other one I just tap that in to blend. Okay, so this is what we have for now. Okay, so now I am going to be going in with my NYX Butter Gloss in Chin Cookie. And this is running out and I'm so sad. And I just go over. And you guys, I promise you that this gloss is literally so freaking bomb i feel like it makes your lips look so like juicy and bomb and i really live for that so that's it for the lipstick <laughs> so now um i am going to put my lashes off camera and then i will be right okay, you guys so um let's just get into these lashes Look at how freaking pretty these are, like. These lashes are like pretty. Like, you know how there's those lashes that are bomb? These lashes are pretty, like, these lashes, if you look at someone, just go like this. And, um, I think they're going to be hypnotized. And they're just going to fall in love, honestly. That's, I feel like this, that's what these lashes could do, for real. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be the end of today's video. Um, whoa there, whoa there, what you doing? Trying to take your eyelash off. So, um, so I, I hope that you guys did like it. Um, I love this look, you guys. Um, this is such a soft glam, like, 
so so soft like it like it looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup but it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup if that makes sense like I don't know how to explain it it's just like so much like I don't even know I'm just so in love with this look love it <laughs> I'm so ugly oh my god um if you guys knew how many times that I did weird things and took it out because I don't want you guys to think I'm a freaking weirdo. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, this is going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys did like it. If you did like it, um, like. If you want to watch more videos with me, then subscribe. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.